You gave me a name, so I looked into them and I want to share with you what I found. Buckle up because I got a ton of tabs open here. All right, this is Targeted Victory's website. This is what they have on their homepage. I found a TechCrunch article from 2018 that talks about how Facebook hired this firm. I worked in nonprofit my entire career, so I took Targeted Victory, put that in the nonprofit search, and I'm going to show you all of the nonprofits that pay Targeted Victory to market for them. I went on ProPublica and I typed in Targeted Victory. The American Conservative Union, right here is their name. They were paid $110,000 to do fundraising. The mission of the American Conservative Union, or ACU, is to unite and mobilize conservatives around the tenets of conservatism through various events, trainings, and policy forums around the country. Next up, we have American Investment Council. They're listed as an independent contractor, and they were paid $862,000 for public affairs. American Investment Council states, we advance success to capital, job creation, retirement, security, innovation, and economic growth in the United States by promoting responsible long-term investment. Next up, we've got American Television Alliance. There's Targeted Victory listed as an independent contractor for grassroots activities, uh, 363,000 and some change. The American Television Alliance informs consumers of outdated rules that do not reflect today's television marketplace. Next up, we've got Better Solutions for Healthcare. They're listed as an independent contractor for digital ad services for 243,000. Better Solutions for Healthcare states that the organization seeks to facilitate a conversation about finding better solutions to lower healthcare costs in the United States. Really? Next up, we've got the Internet Association. They are listed as an independent contractor for consulting services for 127000 the purpose of the Internet Association is to protect and preserve the free, innovative, and decentralized architecture of the Internet that has enabled it to evolve into a powerful engine for economic growth, freedom, and prosperity by channeling the strengths of cultures and stories of the Internet and its vast community of users. The Internet Association ensures that legislators, regulators, and the media understand the profound positive impacts of the Internet and the Internet companies on jobs, economic growth, freedom, creativity, commerce, productivity, education, prosperity, and the goal of the economy. Holy word salad. This next one is very big. This is from 2020, Judicial Watch, Inc., they are listed as an independent contractor for digital ad placements for $3,010,802. Judicial Watch Inc., their mission is to promote integrity, transparency, and accountability in government and fidelity to the rule of law through public advocacy, litigation, and monitoring and investigating federal, state, and local government entities and officials, among other activities. Let's look at their website really quick. Looks like it's a giant Republican website. Yep. And the last nonprofit that I found that has given money to Targeted Victory is called Stand Up to China Incorporated. Stand Up to China, this is from 2019. They're listed as an independent contractor for direct and email messaging for 549,000. The purpose of Stand Up to China is to educate and mobilize the American people, policymakers, and officials about the threats of American prosperity and independence posed by China in commerce, trade, education, technology, intellectual property, military strength, and national defense, and other key aspects of American life, and to advocate for policies that will protect the American people from these threats. Here's Stand Up to China's website. Warren Tompkins is the president, and I looked up who that person is. Warren Tompkins, he's the one that helped create the CPAC. Here's a great little story I found on WUSF about it where he is quoted. This is from 2016 where Warren Tompkins is quoted. And here he is. This seems to be a common denominator with a lot of these things. It's J. Warren Tompkins, a.k.a. Warren Tompkins. According to this Ballopedia, it says that he was described by Times Magazine as the most powerful non-elected man in the Palmetto State. He's the one that organized the Super PAC. I would show you his website, but it's not working right now, conveniently. One of his first political jobs was working for Senator Strom Thrummond. He served as a political director for a pro-Reagan group. In 1988, he was appointed to George Bush's presidential campaign, and then he was also appointed the executive director of the Republican Party of South Carolina in 1981. He was a senior advisor for George W. He served as a general consultant for Lindsey Graham, a southern advisor to Mitt Romney. And that's about a 10-minute search on targeted victory that I was able to find and uncover. It looks like there was a little club here that uh, a lot of us are not in. So we need to take up golfing, smoking cigars, watching copious amounts of Fox News, and... I don't know. We got we to start infiltrating these things because this is just, I, I'm over it.